Hi, I have a few questions. With the ongoing pandemic lockdown, sit down guidelines, what me thinking and realize how about the pandemic of gender based violence in our homes? What about the inequalities and violent storm ongoing when closed doors without us noticing? What about a woman and children being locked to the abusive husband and who have to face the reality of abuse every single day? Where does someone get the audacity to inflict pain on a fellow human being? Does that prove that we are incapable of staying together? No harmony? Why are women becoming endangered species? always fighting again and again and again to keep their lives safe. We are not dealing with the root cause. Why don't we give the attention and the effort to gender-based violence, like the one we are giving to this second wave of the pandemic? Why don't we go back to the round table, not only to analyze the triggers of violence, but also analyze the factors that make certain group vulnerable and another one inferior. Where are these strong and courageous men to stand up and fight for this cause? Why remain silent? Why are men invisible in the issues subjected to gender-based violence? Why do we call gender issues women issues? Because this is already a problem. Why do we do victim blaming? Why do we go ahead and blame a, an abused woman for not being submissive enough to her husband? But we, we go without questioning the actions of the man. These kind of blame games are not taking us anywhere in solving the violence. What about a woman right now being battered? Not that she did something wrong, but because she has been strong enough, courageous, and loving to support the family. What about our boys who are being traumatized right now because of the violent father doing against his mother and siblings? Why are there increasing rampant cases of domestic violence ongoing on and on and on and on in our homes, in our communities, in our country? What about the boys who are going to grow up without a role model in them? No father figure in them to teach them, to groom them, to be better men. No father figure in them to teach them how to treat a woman. To teach them how to express their feelings. Men are the most perpetrators of violence in our homes. So we should all agree that both men and women, girls and boys, are victims of gender-based violence. Are we going to remain silent? Are we going to work together as a team, encourage the survivors to break the cycles of gender-based violence? Or encourage victims to go ahead and report? Or you are going to remain silent? Are we going to work together to advocate for policies that are going to make our lives better, to keep us safe? Or you're going to pretend that this is a battle between two sexes? Are you working towards being a better version of the next generation? Are you going to fight or remain silent? My question still stands. How about the pandemic of gender-based violence?